This is a, a travel log in many ways. Andrew Solomon has been recognized over the years for books on travel. He's done it for a number of magazines, including the New York Times magazine. Many pieces have been published there. This book is a collection of some 30 of those journal writings to the different countries he went to, but they're not just any countries and not just about anything. In a New York Times book review on this book, Far and Away, the New York Times said that this was about his fascination with places in the throes of transformation. And that's what makes this book so interesting. It's about Afghanistan, it's about countries in uh, South America, it's about countries that were undergoing changes as far as their government was concerned and not always for the better. And the thing that makes Solomon such an outstanding writer about travel is he does not start from the where he came from, he starts from where he is. He is looking to define that piece of the world not by what he knew before, but by what he finds there. And then he projects as to what it looks like that section of the world will be in days to come. And unfortunately, in many cases, the articles that he wrote and what he projected have come to pass. A lot of disorder, a lot of governments which have been fraught with all kinds of delinquent activities. And he saw that in the writings and the travels that he did. This is a very interesting book because it impacts on what we live with today in places like Afghanistan, and like the troubles that go on in South America. And he saw all of this, and he put a definition on it, and he wrote about it. But it is not a retrospective. It is worth the read for what he saw then and what we see now. Far and Away is the name of the book. It is about travel. It is about politics. It is about geography. But most of all, it is about people in transition. I think you'd enjoy it.